Hello everyone, this is Mike Sung V from vlamon.com and I am back with another SQL Server 2014 interview question video and in this video we are going to learn about referential integrity. So the question is what is referential integrity and how to use it in SQL Server. So let's start and before explaining what exactly referential integrity is, I want to show you a scenario and this is my scenario in this I have two database table one is employer and another one is department and I have a relationship between these two database table and the relation is on ID from department table and department ID from employer table so here we have a relationship primary foreign key relationship ID is or from department database table ID is primary key and department ID of employer database table is the foreign key okay and now I want to ask you a question now my question is what happens if I'm going to delete some records from my department table of course if I'm going to delete this record then I'm not able to find the relationship for all these records okay I'm not able to find proper department for my employer 1 employer 4 and employer 6 okay now in this scenario referential integrity helps a lot okay referential integrity help you to handle the delete and update behavior whenever a relationship is available in two database table so let's start with sql server management studio and here is our referent uh, sql server management studio and this is my first table table employee and my table employee contains six records and this is my table department okay and if I'm going to for proper sequence I'm going to move this towards up because we created the department table first and then we created the employer table okay and uh, here is the foreign key relations fk underscore department underscore employer this is the foreign key and now I want to show you the records in my employer and department table okay so this is the record of employer table and department table okay and now what if I'm going to drop this department table right now we have a relationship parent child relationship or primary key foreign key relationship between table employer and table department now what if I'm going to drop this database table I want to drop my department table okay so let me quickly go here I want to drop my department table okay and this is drop table table department could not drop object because it's referenced by a foreign key constraint okay now we are not able to drop this database table because this table is going uh, this table is referred by someone else and in our example it is referred by table underscore employee okay now we are not able to drop this table what if I'm going to delete the records okay again let me quickly execute delete from table department again I am not able to delete anything from my database table tbl underscore department why the delete statement conflicted with the reference constraint fk underscore department underscore employer now what if you want to overcome this limitation you are going to use referential integrity here okay now by default whenever you create a foreign key relationship and before further explanation I want to show you the foreign key relationship and it is available in data fetch tables and I want to show you the foreign key of table employer this is my foreign key and I want to right click and I want to modify this and if you are able to see uh, I want to show you this for my fk underscore dep uh, department underscore employer foreign key whenever 
you are going to perform a delete or up update operation on department table there is no action is said it means whenever you try to delete anything from your department table nothing is performed on your table underscore employee table same for update operation that's why in this scenario your delete operation and delete operation is filled okay and let's uh, try one more time with our update operation okay so this is insert no i don't want to see insert command i don't want to okay i want to update my id column okay so this is right now my department table and i want to update id for hr okay so i want to update tbl department i want to set id equals to 3 where id equals to 2 execute and again i am not able to perform any update update operation now how to overcome this limitation for this we are going to use referential integrity i want to modify this and right now if you are able to see no action is available okay and when i want to overcome this and i'm going to change this to cascade and i want to change this to be cascade close okay and finally i want to save this changes right now this change is not saved if you are able to see or oh, this star icon i'm star i'm not able to okay my changes is not saved in database so control s and click on yes i want to save this changes okay and next i want to perform a delete operation okay so let me quickly go here and i want to delete where my id equals to one okay and before executing this i want to show you the existing data in my table underscore employee and table underscore department so print screen windows r ms spent i want to save this in ms spent okay and let me go here and this time i want to delete id1 i want to delete this record from my department table okay so execute this command and our one rows if one row is affected now let's see the data in both the table once more and oh i performed a delete operation on only table underscore department where is the record from table underscore employee so this is my table underscore employee and automatically this three records are deleted one two and three so in case whenever you select cascade let me open fk underscore department modify whenever your delete root a delete rule contain cascade then your changes is reflected to your child table also whenever you perform any operation or delete update operation on your parent table it is going to be reflect on your child table okay so let's perform a update operation on let's perform an update operation on table underscore department i want to change the id of hr department name hr i want to change the id for this and here is the command i want to change this to 3 from 2 i want to change it to 3 so let's execute and one row is affected and i want to see the data in my both the table and it is automatically changed so this is the previous previous records with id equals to 2 and now it is changed automatically to 3 we only perform a update operation on my parent table only on department table and it is automatically reflected on our child table okay and let me quickly drop this table I want to drop table underscore employee and I want to recreate this.
because I want to show you other option okay so let me quickly create this table and I want to insert this execute okay something is wrong uh, because we don't have ID 1 and 2 that's why our insert operation is not working okay so let me quickly drop this table also I want to drop table underscore tbl underscore department I want to drop my employee table employee table is dropped department table is dropped and now I want to quickly create this again and I want to create my employee table once more okay okay and uh, right now we checked about we checked about no action and we checked about casket and other option we have is set null and set default in case of set null whenever we perform a delete operation for all those deleted records the value is set to null and same case for update operation and in case of set default whenever we perform a delete operation on department table or parent table the child table contains default value and in case of update whenever we execute the update operation on our parent table then child table also contain default value so let's see the same and here I want to close this close this and this time I'm going to drop this constraint and I want to set this to a uh, set null and set null that's it okay and now I want to again perform this delete operation on my table department and before executing this this is the output I think here is the output and now I want to perform the delete operation on table underscore department so execute this query and see the impact on our employee table so for my all the employees where department ID is equal to 1 is now contains null okay and from department table the ID 1 is deleted okay and same thing I want to perform for update I want to change my table D underscore department whenever where my ID equals to 2 I want to set the ID is 2 so execute this and again I want to compare my employee and department again this is set to null okay here is the previous data and current data I hope now you are able to understand how to use differential integrity and it's time to check the last available option is set default okay default and default that's it and um, I think I need to recreate those table uh, why because I want to insert data okay uh, I am not able to drop it because I want to drop my child table first okay and I want to drop this department table that's it and it's time to create our department table first I want to insert this to record in my department table and then I want to create this and this time I'm going to define this two thing in my create table statement okay set default and set default so set default it is going to def set default value minus 99 okay that's it and let me quickly create this table my command is executed successfully and this time I want to execute this okay that's it and it's time to see the data and here is the data and again I'm going to delete I'm going to execute delete operation 
or I'm going to perform a delete where ID equals to 1. Okay, now our delete operation is failed. Now why it is failed? Because in our default value, whenever we are going to perform a delete operation, we are setting a value minus 99 and it is not available inside our department table. So I'm going to quickly insert a new record here. I want to insert a value 99 and I am going to give it NA or unknown. Okay, so let's insert a value with any or unknown okay that's it execute this and now again try to perform delete operation on department table so this is current sorry this is current data and I want to perform a delete operation okay our one row is affected and our table underscore employee is now containing data with department ID minus 99 and I, this is default value we define the default value at the time of create table statement and again this is going to be deflect when we are going to perform our update operation so that's it now recheck the data in our employee table and department table. I hope you are able to understand what is the differential integrity and how to use it in case of or how to use it in SQL Server. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe, like button, share it with your friend and see you all in next SQL Server. 2014 interview question video.